How to use ClickUp for students. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use ClickUp as a student or a parent helping your child out and how to manage your workflow and your daily tasks on ClickUp. So let's get started. First off, over here, I have created a new space for my student on ClickUp and I am going to create a daily schedule and then I'm also going to create a subject-wise schedule for the organization of studies and just a basic daily schedule that my child or student could follow on the daily basis. So over here, this is a new space. I've named it student and I've added this black logo. You can change it to whatever you might like, whatever the child might actually like. So let's make it pizza and let's make it yellow. So you can do that to make it a bit interesting and not to, you know, bore them out. Now, first off, you can either create this in a table view or a list view. I'm going to start working on lists and then I'm going to show you how it's going to look like in the different views. I am going to create a list and I am going to make it the daily schedule. Now, once I have created this basic list, I'm going to start adding tasks into the daily schedule. So if your child has a detailed daily routine, you're going to add that. For example, if we have wake up time, so I'm going to add that individually. And I might skip ahead for this because this is a bit of tedious work, but you're going to replicate this into all day. So you just have to create it for once and then you can replicate that for the rest of the week. Now we're going to add wake up. And then you can add due date for this task as well. So let's say we're going to wake up at 9 a.m. Now you can see I've created this task called wake up, but I'm going to add a due date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here on due date and I'm going to click on set recurring. So this is a recurring task and this is going to happen over and over again. And when it's done or closed, it will recur the task over and over again. So the task will be uh, remade once it has been finished for the day. Now you can also update the status and you can set it for when to when you want this to be added. If this is a weekly task or a daily task. So for us, waking up is a daily task and we want it to recur forever. And then we can add the time we want this task to happen. So 9 a.m. every morning, we're going to wake up. You can also skip the weekends if you would like. I'm going to do that as well and I'm going to save it. So the idea of this is that the child or the parent could click on this task and complete it every day once they are finished and then they could move on with the rest of their day and they could track their progress and their productivity throughout the day once they complete all of their tasks. So let's just say we have lunch and we are going to create the task for lunch going to refresh this so it shows up so you can see over here we've added lunch we can add the due date we can set it on recurring obviously it is a recur forever task it is a daily task and we are going to add a time so 2 p.m is probably lunch like so and we're going to save it so this is going to help us monitor our general productivity throughout the day now you can add all of your tasks and enter your daily schedule for your child or if you are a student yourself you can add your study times your self-reading times your journaling time snacking time um, entertainment time all into here and then this will also give you a notification on your mobile app or your web browser to start off with your new task or if your task has been completed or not if the task is still due and you haven't moved it it's going to give you a notification and that's going to help you stay on track throughout the day now once you have added your own daily schedule i would recommend that you also view it in calendar view so we're going to add the calendar view and what this does it is that uh, it's going to help you remove tasks here and there and obviously there are going to be some tasks that you only have for a certain date maybe you have a special event maybe you have any kind of special event that is occurring a party a um, get together if you're skipping school one day if you're sick so you can edit that via here and you can change and add tasks and get a general overview of your days from here now moving on to your studies you can see over here we have our student profile and we're going to create a new list so once you have your daily list you, you're going to go back into student and you're going to click on new list and you're going to name the list subjects now you can add separate lists for each subject 
or you can add a uh, general subject list and then add your subjects within it. I would recommend you keep each list for each subject separate. That's going to help you be very organized throughout the year. So let's just say we have English. We're going to do that and we're going to add new list. We're going to add maths. And you can plan this out for the entire year or at least the semester that you're going for. And then you can organize your entire semester work into one of these lists and you're not going to have to worry about anything. So once you do that, you're going to add your over here. I would recommend that you use a board view and on the board view, you can add your open. So I'm going to change the name for this and I'm going to write the to do and then you're going to enter you can keep the in progress one you can have a closed or we can rename it to a completed status so things you have completed and then you're going to add a status and you're going to name it or semester topic progress and you can classify everything with different colors which is going to really help you and i'm going to move it like this so you can also uh, collapse some of these to make space for anything else if you want to add something. Or if something is unimportant currently, you can just collapse it and view it later and expand it later, like so. Now, once you have created different fields for your uh, ClickUp English or whatever subject view, you're going to actually move some of these around. So maybe I want my to-do to be over here and I want my semester topic progress list to be over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these three red uh, three dots and I'm going to click on edit statuses and you can see your active statuses over here and you can move them from here so I'm going to move this over here I can move this like so and this is going to help me organize my tasks a bit better so this is going to make it different obviously when you're working with a lot of different topics it's going to be a bit more easier to navigate when all of this is customizable now if you want to add over here you're going to add all of your semester topics so you're going to start off with grammar or whatever is present in your course you can add that reading writing skills and then once you have created some of your basic topics you can add some subtasks within your basic topic so over here you can also add your description or any detail you might want to do and here you're going to add your subtask for so for grammar you might say uh, tenses or you can have a verbs verbal communication and so on and so forth you can add subtasks within them and then you can add them to completed or as whatever your progress goes within the semester or the year you can change their status to in progress or completed and what that is going to do is that's going to help you organize in which field you are present in terms of your general understanding of the subject. You're going to know how far you are in grammar and punctuation or whatever are the actual topics of your subject of choice. Now, this is why I recommend the board view over here, because it really is going to give you a visual aid to see how far you are going in your project. So obviously, if something is in progress, you're going to move it over here. If you think it is in progress, I'm going to do it like so. And now it, this is in progress. And if only a subtask is in progress. So for grammar, if our verbs are in progress, we're going to select that. And this is going to move it to subtasks. Oh, this is going to move the subtask to in progress, but it's not going to show up over here. So that is also something you can do. Now, you can see we have grouped these by status, but we can also group them by priority. And that is that is a feature I also find pretty helpful. If, you, if you're studying for your finals, you can create a new space, a new list. So let's create a new list and let's do it finals prep. And over here, you can import all of the data from your other boards. So if we duplicate this and you can add all of the tasks present within English and you can add this to your finals prep. So I'm going to search for finals prep. And this is going to copy the list into our new newly created folder so it took a minute to actually copy the entire list it got me worried for a minute but it is here now you can see it has copied over here we're going to rename it and once we rename it 
you can rename it to whatever and once you have done that you can start working on your progress in terms of studies over here and you can remove due dates for your projects when you're copying so like i showed you guys when you click on duplicate you're going to copy everything but then you are going to make the completed tasks unarchived so any archived tasks will be unarchived and then you can keep the recurring settings and remove them or you can remove the due dates as well so remove everything else other than the basic information you might need and then you're going to copy the list and that's going to help you be your study guide and you can study and revise and change the completed status to maybe the revised status so you could say revised and then you're going to move anything that you have revised completely into this so you know that you have gone through this topic and learned everything about it. So this is very good for a student or if you're a parent that is managing their uh, child's progress. And if you want your child to be a bit more independent and manage their day on their own, this can really help them do that as well. And a good feature is that if you're a teenager and maybe you have a mentor or your parent or your teacher who wants to keep progress, who wants to keep in track of your progress, you can actually create a dashboard for them. So you can just create a dashboard for them over here. Then you can add a widget. You can add whatever kind of custom um, chart that they might need for tracking your progress. Usually it's just a task list so they know that you're doing your tasks and you can do a student progress. Even if you're a teacher, it's good if all of your students are using ClickUp, you can add a student progress dashboard and ask them to add their widgets over there. So you can group them by status and then you're going to select the location. So you're going to go in students and then you're going to go in finals prep or whatever you might want your teacher to be uh, aware of. You're going to select that or your parent if your parent wants to know your daily schedule, if you're keeping up with it or or if you're actually doing your tasks on time, if you're studying on time, you can select your subjects as well. Select those three locations and add the widget. So this is going to help them see if you have done your daily progress, if you're making any progress at all, or how your studies are going. So this is how you use ClickUp as a student. And I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video.